Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Dean from Electronic Sounds. Stick around. Today, we're going to be checking out the Mazatron Wave Morph VC DCO oscillator. I think it sounds fantastic and is capable of putting out a really wide variety of unique waveforms. Come on, let's have some fun. The first thing I'd like to show you is the huge variety of unique waveforms that we can get out of this module using the wave shaping knobs. I'm just going to play a static note and I'm going to move the wave shaping knobs and we'll take a look at the waveforms that this module generates. Right. Check this out. and subscribe if you're into this kind of content. On this channel, I talk about everything from Eurorack modules to virtual synthesizers and effects on iPad and desktop. I talk about new gear, I talk about old gear, we talk about building tracks and sound design, all that good stuff. Be sure and subscribe. In this example, I'm using a voltage sequencer to send a melodic sequence to one wave morph oscillator. But the neat thing about the Synth Rotec Sequence 8 sequencer is that it allows you to send that same CV output three different times. So here on the second output, I'm sending a control voltage to the wave morph oscillators ramp 1 and ramp 2 inputs. And by dialing in the amount of control voltage that we're sending to these, I can really sculpt the way that this sounds in real time. When I get all the way to the top and send the maximum amount of voltage that's duplicating the sequence, it actually changes the rhythmic part of our melodic pattern. Check this out. Taking a closer look at the wave shaping section, what are we actually doing when we move these knobs? Well, point one and ramp one allow us to select the starting point and then the slope angle of the first half of the wave cycle, while point two and ramp two allow us to select the starting point and then the slope angle of the second half of the wave cycle. These are all CV controllable. 
In this example, I've created a techno patch in the system, and we're using two of the Mazatron WaveMorph oscillators to generate the melodic content. I'm not utilizing any of the wave shaping features on these oscillators, but we are using the Mazatron Poly Envelope Generator and Quad Cutoff to generate some interesting rhythmics in the envelope. Check out this patch. One of my favorite features of this oscillator is the pitch control section. Let me plug in a patch cable here so we can get a listen. There's no direct sound. It's more important that we hear what I'm saying rather than we hear what the oscillator is putting out. But we can really easily change the octave that we're working with. And we can really easily tune the oscillator to whatever note we like or whatever octave range we like as well. But I like being able to turn this quantize on. And now, if you can hear that, the frequency knob is snapping to semitones. Let's go up an octave here. Do you hear how the transitions are landing on semitones specifically? This makes it really easy, uh, easy to tune the oscillator within your mixes and your patches. Again, you can turn that off if that's not something that you're into, or if you like a more rubbery sound. Super awesome! In this example, I'm using the CV and the gate outputs from Novation's SL MK3 MIDI controller and sequencer to send a melodic sequence to both of these wave morph oscillators. I'm taking the output from both oscillators and we're running that into a filter with quite a bit of resonance so you can hear what it sounds like when we really start driving these through a filter. Check this sequence out. In this example, we're utilizing the sync input feature. I've taken an output from the first wave morph, and not only am I sending that to the Mordax data so we can get a visual on it, but I've also duplicated the signal and we're routing that into the sync input of the second wave morph. I've turned the sync switch on, and we've also taken an output of the second wave morph into the second input of the Mordax data so we have a visual on both of these oscillators. We're routing both of these into an envelope and to a filter from WMD devices. And I'm routing an LFO to the filter so we get a little bit of creativeness on the attack of this sound. You'll hear that in just a moment. Lastly, we're using the Synth Rotec Sequence 8 sequencer again to send some CV values to the wave shaping section on these modules so that I can really get some unique control over the timbre that we're putting out. Check this out.
I've been running Electronic Sound since 1994, so you can imagine that I've seen quite a few waveforms and wavetables. I knew right away when running this oscillator through the oscilloscope that these waveforms it was putting out were something really special and that's something I would want to explore even further. So I took the first recording of me just really slowly morphing the wave shaping knobs and I loaded that recording into Serum Virtual Synthesizer on the desktop so that I could extract some of these waveforms. And sure enough, immediately it started putting out waveforms that look like this. And also like this. And like this. As you can see, these waveforms are quite a bit more unique than your average saw, sine, and square waveforms. And I was really excited to do a little bit of sound design with them. So I loaded them back into Serum Virtual Synthesizer, and I've made a couple of presets that I'm going to play for you now. Check this out. <laughs> 